Hamlet starts with the line, who's there? And the line is about who we are as humans. So for me, studying Shakespeare is about exactly that. It's about getting at what some of the fundamental questions are that we ask as humans. He has each of his characters who experience heartbreak or experience joy, experience birth, experience loss. He has them hold up that experience like a jewel. From the most important personal fight and plight and struggle of love and unrequited love and lost love to kingdoms rising, falling, worlds hanging in the balance. Those images, those ideas, they're not just big speeches. They can just be two words put together that catch our breath in a way that nothing else does. having many different voices proliferating inside the course so that the expertise is spread out, spread out across 50 different voices, anywhere from six-year-old kids, actors from the American Players Theater, experts from UW-Madison, experts from all around the world. One of the things that I really like about Shakespeare is how sparse it is in stage direction, that all of the actual directions for how to deliver the lines and what you need to do with these characters is within the words themselves. When we're saying, this is how I'm moving, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm looking at, look at what I'm looking at, the audience is like, oh, look at what they're looking at. We're having videos that bring together 30 to 40 different voices talking about Shakespeare, talking about all of the various different aspects of Shakespeare. Even just the texture of the word in your mouth, if you say it, I think that this is part of why it's so important to speak Shakespeare aloud, is because he actually understood that words, and you know, many authors understand this, that words actually have texture as we say them. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Now, I don't read this play as being about fate that Romeo and Juliet necessarily are going to die because my Romeo and Juliet do have free will. They choose to disobey, they choose to marry. But a lot of people like to read the play as about fate that these two, Romeo and Juliet, have no chance. Man. Romeo, por qué debe ser Romeo? There's two things I'm interested in students discovering in this course. One is Shakespeare, who their Shakespeare is. Not who my Shakespeare is, but their Shakespeare. The other is what it means to study Shakespeare in the digital age. It doesn't necessarily change our experience of the text. The truth is that all of us experience the text completely different from one another. So it isn't as though there's one kind of experience we have when we look at the text on a page and a different kind of experience that we have online. But even more important than those videos is the knowledge that's co-constructed inside of the course. This ongoing conversation that happens around the study of Shakespeare, and my hope is that that conversation continues well after the course is over.